Your body is truly incredible. Working together, your organs help you to live every aspect of your life, from thinking to moving, from speaking to breathing. And it's all controlled by me, your brain. I'm the control center for everything you do. In order to work at my best, though, I need oxygen and nutrients. These are brought to me through the blood, and it's the heart who makes that possible. I'm your heart. My job is to pump blood around the body. I do this through a system of vessels which reach all the way from your head to your toes. I am made up of four chambers, two upper chambers and two lower chambers. These chambers work together to pump the oxygenated blood that your body needs to live and function. Normally, your heart beats to a steady rhythm, regularly squeezing to pump blood around your body, just like that. However, for some people, their heart does not beat to this normal rhythm. Brain, what's happening? Why am I quivering like this? Because you have atrial fibrillation. But what does that mean? Well, atrial fibrillation is a medical condition which interferes with your rhythm, causing you to beat irregularly. You're not alone, though. Atrial fibrillation is the most common sustained heart rhythm disorder. The risk of developing atrial fibrillation increases with age. Worryingly, one in four adults over the age of 40 will develop atrial fibrillation in their lifetime. The symptoms of atrial fibrillation include palpitations, tiredness, shortness of breath, dizziness, fainting and chest pain, although some people don't experience any symptoms at all. Will this irregular heartbeat cause problems for me? Yes, I'm afraid it's pretty serious for both you and me. So it's essential to see a doctor as soon as possible if you experience these symptoms. Having atrial fibrillation means that you are pumping less efficiently and blood might be left behind in your chambers. This blood has the potential to turn into clots. Does that matter? Well, these clots can be very dangerous for me. If clots form in your chambers, they may break off into the bloodstream and travel around the body. If they reach me, they can easily lodge in one of my vessels. If a clot blocks the blood flow, I may be starved of oxygen. Gosh, this sounds serious. Well, yes, it is. If my blood supply is reduced or stopped completely, I may be starved of the oxygen that I need and my cells will start to die. When my cells die, this damage can never be repaired. This is known as an ischemic stroke. If you have atrial fibrillation, you are five times more likely to suffer a stroke than someone without the condition. And among the strokes suffered by people with atrial fibrillation, nine out of ten are ischemic strokes. Sadly, for patients with atrial fibrillation, an ischemic stroke can be severely debilitating or even life-threatening. It can have a devastating impact on all aspects of their lives and ultimately lead to a loss of independence. Imagine not being able to do all the things you love. Your whole life could change after a stroke. Oh, no! Is there anything we can do to stop this from happening? Well, there are treatments to prevent clots from forming inside you. They're called anticoagulants, and they can help reduce the risk of stroke by helping to prevent blood from clotting. Anticoagulants are usually an important part of the long-term medical treatment for people who have atrial fibrillation. Right. I guess we should go and see the doctor then. Yes, there are a number of different anticoagulant treatments that work in different ways. The doctor will be able to give us more information and check that we are on the right treatment to give us the best protection against stroke. Protect your heart. Protect your brain. Protect yourself and your loved ones against the debilitating consequences of ischemic stroke.